Hey everybody, it's pretty late at night right now, but we're going to go ahead and take this turn anyway, even though I could go to sleep and get up and do it in the morning. Here we go. Turn 7. There was a battle in Wold, and an unexpected event in Panionia. Alright, let's see how the battle in Wold went. Alright, so, got to check how our revised formation is going to do. So far, it looks like the archers are... Oh, wait, they did actually stop to fire. That's incredible. I heard the sound of a skeleton being made. Okay, it's just a little wolf shaman. I got scared about necromancers or something living here. So, we should be all right. I'm going to put it on turbo. cowardly and useless to do their jobs. RIP. Alright, let's watch that again. So, these guys are supposed to hold an attack rear. They make it past this first squad, and then every time they go past a squad, I think they have to make a morale check. They, passing this individual skeleton, fail that morale check, so they spend a bunch of time running in here, getting shot point blank by arrows, and then panicking which in turn means that most of our army has panicked. And we did reduce the numbers in this province. Those guys who left won't come back, but that's not a good result for this turn. Um, there was a random event. Let's see what that random event was. Hey, cool. Free 207 gold. I gotta love misfortune, right? Maybe they should revert that change, but this game is made by like two people and they are college professors in like anthropology or religion or something like that in Europe and uh, somewhere northeastern Europe and uh, they don't spend a lot of time tweaking the balance of their game I don't think I think they mostly just want to put cool stuff in and uh, not all of the beta testers seem to understand anything about how this game actually works either so we'll go here first well yeah we'll go there first all right did we get uh, we are still six research points away from location one so we're going to let this guy keep researching. We're going to change to recruiting the other kind of slow to recruit wizard. We are going to consider, all right, so this guy will come here and then, or he could go up here. We could start, mm, all right, yeah, this guy will come down here and grab a bunch of shitty cavalry and take them in here to kill these guys. That's probably a decent plan. Or maybe even medium cavalry. Let's see. How many archers were there? There were 19 archers, so there are still 19 archers. So, I don't know if 8 cavalry will take out that many archers. Let's go with 3 of these guys and the rest of these guys. That, that ought to work. I should really just be patient and start making big piles of archers and guys with shields because they'll continue to live and not run away. Is the right foot right? All right, once more cheap cavalry, unreliable cavalry. We'll see how they do. Um, we really need to finish taking our cap circle so we can get getting more troops per turn. Um, and we see here that Monkey uh, has expanded this direction. Um, it's worth noting that Nuclear Monkey's reputation in the group of players that we're playing in is that he is the devil and that anything he tells you is a lie and the opposite of what you expect to happen will happen and he will destroy you. Um, so maybe I should be more worried about the fact that I made a deal with him than I am, but I'm not all that worried about it yet. Okay, that's how that works.
Um, when is this fort done? One more turn. All right. Can I get a wizard up here in a single turn? I can't. All right. So we're going to send a guy up here so that he can build a lab so we can start making more wizards up here. And uh, we'll also start making more troops up there soon. That'll be good. Um, it is turn seven, so fall. So we've got fall, late fall, and then three winter turns. And we want to get to 15, and we are at like four. So we're doing very badly in a lot of ways. And uh, we need to take an average of, I just said we had four turns left. Fall of uh, five turns, wait. Fall, late fall, and then three winters. So five turns left, counting this one. We have four provinces. We want 15. Uh, so we want like to take an average of at least about three provinces a turn from here on. We can't do that next turn. We're only taking one. The turn after that, we're probably only taking two. So we're going to have to ramp up really quickly if we're going to get there in time. It's, uh, well, we'll see. Are there any mercenaries available? There's some barbarians. That's, let's take these barbarians up here. They should be able to take this province, and then we will be able to start making troops faster at our second fort. That should work. And we still have some gold left. And if it doesn't work, somebody wildly overpaid for that mercenary. Uh, we could also get them here and send them into that. that. That would work also, but we've got this for that. Yeah, we'll be okay. Uh, and we won't quite be bordering Shinyama yet if we do that. I wish I had seen Shinyama's god. Uh, I should get worried about preaching, but we'll see how big Shinyama is when we get this infiltration. And we're behind, but we are not terribly behind. I'm glad Monkey is not trying to invade us because he could probably make it difficult for me to get to where I need to be. Anyway, uh, that's the turn. No real big digressions right now. Um, yeah, we will be doing more magic and beginning to ramp up towards We'll be doing more magic and ramping up towards uh, more exciting battles, possibly against actual players within the next few turns, I would suspect, but we'll see. Oh, and uh, even though it's late at night, let's not forget to script these guys that we're attacking with. So Prophet in the back, uh, Archers, Infantry, Cavalry, uh, hold an attack, Rear, I'll try putting them on the bottom this time, uh, hold an attack closest, these guys are undisciplined because they're a mix of disciplined and undisciplined archers, let's get two Sermons of Courages down, and then Words of Power, he'll cast more Sermons of Courage, he actually did in that other battle where archers routed. But uh, they routed after we won the battle, and they routed for no reason I can understand, but it's all right. Uh, you can never have too much morale. Uh, this is our first slow to recruit cap mage. We're pretty lucky. He rolled fire two for his random path that he will have two in. That is a good one for us because it means we can start searching for fire gems, which are very useful later and also because it means he can eventually cast Flaming Arrows, which is a really nice spell for us to have. Hopefully nothing bad will happen to this frail old alchemist man. Shin Yum is actually played by another guy who does Let's Plays sometimes, uh, Jay Brereton. I'll link to his channel some, at some point during this Let's Play. And he's not that bad, although his expansions are sometimes less than perfect. Um, so even though I saw his goblins getting owned last turn, we shouldn't count him out. Uh, he may have more territory that we can't see yet, and, uh, 
we should be cautious because we failed this turn so we're not really that much better off than he is in any way morally culturally aesthetically the will of heaven and the great Tao. we must believe that they will favor us in the long term but right now our path is slow and full of minor setbacks but we will continue to walk it and someday i'm sure it will lead us to the stars Final update of the turn. Uh, it is now the middle of the night, but I remembered that we didn't have any defense down here. So I put some defense down here just because I would hate to get screwed over by random events more than we already have. And other than that, uh, just second guessing myself here, I'm going to actually send these guys to attack the closest things. That way they'll help out our melee guys while our archers continue to shoot people. Um, they recently changed in a patch the ability to always attack rear. Uh, it used to be that it would never fail, but um, now it's back to being like it is in Dominion's 4, where they have to make morale checks as they pass units. Which, the cheap cavalry are, as we have seen repeatedly, not very good at making morale checks. Uh, this is My Path to Ascension Begins here. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a great night.